what I want to do is start by changing the physical form of the piece to work with the decoration that I'm going to do. Because I don't want to just take this plate and draw on it. I mean, I can do that. That can be fun. But what I'd rather do is actually integrate the image with the surface so that it becomes more like, obviously this is still a plate, but it's also kind of like a sculpture. So you can see that the, the duck or the goose, the wing actually kind of deforms the plate itself. So that image is integrated into the surface. So um, this is one of my sketchbooks. I have a lot of sketchbooks and they're full of various drawings of animals. Um, and I've chosen two today to put on the pieces. So we're gonna make a duck or a goose landing plate and a grizzly bear inside the bowl. So I start by taking the drawing itself. So we'll start with the duck because it's gonna be easier for you to see. So I take the drawing of the duck and what I'll do is I'll trace it. So I will take a piece of paper, any kind of paper, it doesn't matter. I use computer paper generally because I have it around and I'll make a tracing of the drawing. So you can see the tracing is loose. I'm not following every single line when I cut it out. It's just a general idea. And sometimes I'll draw all of these lines on here and sometimes I won't. I did it kind of so you could see it. And also because sometimes with more complicated drawings, it makes it easier for me to put the line in the right place when I go to paint it. Then I will take my tracing and I will place it on the plate that I threw earlier. So when I'm doing this, I'm thinking about composition. So if you look at the finished plate, um, I want the duck to be landing on the water. It doesn't have to be, but in this case, that's how I want it to be. So I wanna make sure this wing kind of goes off the edge of the plate and the duck has some kind of suspended motion there. So when I place it on here, I'm kind of looking at that, moving it around and trying to get it in a spot that I think makes sense. So then I'll push it down. I don't have to push it down very hard. And then what I'm gonna do is use my hand to actually physically draw around the animal. So it's not perfect and I'm gonna have to put it down to kind of finish. Um, but basically what I wanna do is I wanna do kind of a general drawing like that and I'm using loose motions with my hand because I kind of want a loose gestural feeling. That's how I paint it. And then I'll kind of fill it in. So I'll put in the ground, which is really just, I'm grabbing it and just kind of sliding my hand along it. You can see the plate is not freshly thrown, but I can still move it pretty easily. So, um, you know, cause I wanna be able to do that. And then I have a branch in the background. So I'm gonna kind of draw that in with my fingers and I'm gonna use really fast gestural movements and kind of pinch in some areas where some leaves will go. And you can see it's really not, just by the way that I'm moving my hands, I'm not like super planned out or anything. I'm just kind of making an impression of that animal and its surrounding on the pot. So that's a place to start. So I'll do that and then I'll kind of set it aside to dry a little bit because the next step will be trimming. So I'll just do the same thing as I did before, but with the grizzly bear. So I'm gonna put the grizzly bear inside the bowl and this one will be harder for you to see, but you kind of get the idea already. So I'm gonna look at the grizzly bear bowl that I made before, and I can see that his toes are almost, they're on the ground here, and they're almost touching the edge of the, of the bowl. And what I, in this case, the composition is pretty um, centered, and it's not usually like that. If I, usually if I put, I find if I put the animal right in the middle, it's not a very dynamic piece. But this guy, he's, that's kind of the only place he can be. And he's, I don't know, he's kind of a centered little bear. So I'm gonna do that here. I'm gonna put him kind of towards the ground here. And I'll draw real quick around him. And I'll add a branch. And you can see I'm supporting the piece on the outside as I use my finger to make these general lines. And I'll pinch in some leaves and I'll squeeze in some ground, maybe a little bit of grass. And then I get, same kind of thing as I did on the plate, just a really general idea of where the bear will be and a general idea of the composition. 